Hi, welcome to the fifth episode of Dying to Know. I'm Jonah, and this is... Leah. No, it's not Dying Light 2, because that ain't out yet. No, it isn't. Well, just, you are playing a game, no, though. No, no, no. This is a surprise I'll reveal right at the end of the episode. Because it's Techland's 30th anniversary, so it won't be the only one. So, have some patience, and don't go anywhere. I won't, but can we get this show on the road, please? Go on then, let's begin. This time we've prepared something very, very unique and I just can't wait to show it. That's true. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will show you fresh news about Techland GG, sum up the Dying Light 2 global preview events, which took place a few weeks ago, and most importantly, a 15 minute walkthrough video straight from Dying Light 2 Stay Human. So if you wanna see how the game looks two months before the release, stay with us. In the meantime, or just after the show, don't forget to go to dl2.dyinglightgame.com and pre-order it. Just to make sure you can enjoy Dying Light 2 Stay Human on release on the 4th of February, 2022. That's something I'm gonna do. Me too, Jonah. Me too. So we're starting with some fantastic news. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is almost ready, and a while ago, some journalists and content creators from around the world had a chance to spend a few hours in front of their PCs or PS4s to play the latest version of the game. We held an event in the UK. I know, because I was there. And in the US, where I was. And there was also one in Russia. Japan. And of course, Poland. Now, even though those countries are completely different, the outcome was exactly the same. People loved the game. Let's see what it looked like. Now, having seen that, we can't imagine not showing the game to you guys as well. The senior producer of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, Cornell Yasko, will take us right into the city in a Dying Light 2 gameplay video like none other before. You ready? Hey, Cornell. Hi. Welcome to the show. So, before we talk about the gameplay, which I know we're dying to get into, mm -hmm. I want to talk about the preview events we've had. So, uh, what did people who played the game for the very first time have to say about it? Uh, well, maybe, you know, it's not too humble for them to say, but they really love it. They <laughs> They love Dying Light to stay human. And uh, after the events, they gave us really honest feedback mm -hmm. about the game. And it's really, really helping us polishing the game at the very stage of the production. I mean, yeah, because you've only got about two months now until final release. There's a lot of polishing to get done in a short amount of time. And as someone who voices the main character in the game, do you guys yeah, know that? Voice you guys know that? Yeah, yeah, we've talked about I this before. I have no idea. I'm pretty damn no sure. Um, I was also at the preview event in San Francisco, and I have with me a few quotes from the media and content creators and they are overwhelmingly positive. Uh, let's start. The parkour gameplay still is very unique and is implemented well into the open world design. Way to go. The action is intense, the scale of the world is impressive, and the feel of traversal is an overall improvement over what has come before, particularly in the way the game builds and expends momentum. And the characters mm. seem like the real strong point. Varied, engaging, and interesting. So way to go. Kudos to you guys. Yeah, that is some Great fantastic reviews. feedback. I mean, congrats to you and the Dying Light 2 team. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we are going to be seeing some gameplay here in just a second. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we going? What are we doing in the city? So this quest takes place somewhere around one third of the story. Uh, Aiden is trying to get more details about his missing sister. And he leaves uh, Old Villador and comes to the central loop when he's trying to get to the to here, to fish I canteen. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so what's the difference between Old Villador and the Central Loop? Is there any difference? There is, there is. There are completely different settings. While Old Villador is a traditional, full of traditional buildings, this is the oldest part of the city. Uh, the Central Loop is full of skyscrapers, wow. office buildings, so Aiden has to start using his paraglider. Mm. Uh, and of course, there are plenty of uh, places connected to open world facilities. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I mean, aside from trying to get to the familiar fisheye canteen, mm -hmm. uh, what is our overarching goal for this quest? It starts with a truly spectacular view, the city coming back to life. But then suddenly something goes wrong and we need to help Lawan fix that. It's a great opportunity to see how the city alignment system works in more detail to get a glimpse of a complex story and dynamics between the characters. But enough of me talking and let's just watch the gameplay. Damn it. I was wrong. Can't see shit. Every 
really thought it'd work. You were fucking duped. Uh, well, um... At least it's peaceful. Yep. That's why I come here when I'm pissed off. So a lot, believe me. Look! Aiden! They're back on! They're fucking coming back on! <laughs> you see that, Aiden? You see that? It's beautiful! Oh, I can't believe it! No, I just can't believe it! <laughs> Oh, I see it, Daniel. I'm at a lookout point, and it's quite the show. How does this happen? Dark as hell for 15 years, and suddenly this? I don't know. Don't know. But we need to find out. Then drop by the canteen and let's talk. Been missing you like last year's snow, Loka. While shotgunning beers and screwing bartenders. You know me. It's a gift. <laughs> we'll meet you there, dumbass. Something's wrong. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Fuck. What the hell's going on? So that's the fish eye. Okay, how do we get there? The fish eye's gotta wait. You gotta wait? But why? We need to check the substations. One's over there, level with the PK tower. What about the fish eye? Listen, I want to help you, and I will help. We'll do this together. But you have to understand, it's the first. It's been the same situation for over 10 years. 10 years of this fucking darkness. We gotta check this out. How do we get to the substation? It's an old paraglider. It'll help you get to places you normally can't reach. Just follow me. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, fuck. This paraglider, can it be made to fly faster? something you should have to cross after that. Those paragliders? It used to be a Night Runner's favorite toy. You a Night Runner? Me? Night Runner? <laughs> I wish. Seen any signs of renegades around here? No. See, Private? Now calm down and let Aglot think. What's there to think about? Why not head back to base? Who the heck are you, anyway? I'm someone offering to help. I'll check what happened to the power. You know anything else about it? That's top secret military information. We're trying to figure out how to get up there. Just go ahead and tell him everything, why don't you? Every last detail. Well, what's the big secret, huh? We need to get this piece of shit working, that's what. 
My colleague's vastly oversimplifying things, but his gist is correct. There are obvious signs of the electricity having returned, and this here appears to be a substation. It and others like it are capable of transmitting electricity throughout the city. We have orders to get this building functioning once more. Meaning, turn it back on. Unfortunately, without climbing equipment, access to it is severely limited. I can climb up there without the equipment. You'd be willing to do that? You'd be doing a great favor for the peacekeeper. What was that he said? I think it was something about his mother and a goat. PK morons! We'll be taking that electricity! Thank you very much! Kill him! I would surmise the main circuit suffered a break. Find a cable and connect the source of power to the transmitter. That should restore the circuit. Aiden, report in. Yep, I'm on top of the substation, trying to connect the power to the transmitter. Well, it wasn't a piece of cake in here after all. I met a bunch of PKs who couldn't get to the substation themselves. So that's why you haven't called me yet. You should see them. Decide which one I like more. You know that'll cost you, right? at me? Nah, your choice. And I know why. But if it were me, I'm for the free folk all the way. I don't understand. There are things. a lot more substations. I guess you know, we could get us all going. going. Can we first go to the fisheye and... This, yeah, sure. Let's meet in the canteen. I'll wait for you there. On your own, friend. Pilgrim, take my advice. Leave this city. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze out. Well? Frank! They slaughtered us, one by one, like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with- Ravik's been dead for years, Frank. Pull yourself together. You got a visitor. And who's that? Queen of fucking England? I gotta act old Danny now? This is Aiden. He has a GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. Where'd you get it? 
Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want one of Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Luan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Luan can get the fuck out of my face now. You hear that? Fuck. Something's happening. Will you check? I'm right behind you. I'm sure. I've seen them. Renegades in the central loop? Nonsense. To all units, renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over. Close. Aiden, more renegades on the lower level.
done. They're inside the fisheye. They have Frank. They blocked the door. I can't get in. Ah, shit. Right, I'm on my way. All right, I'll break one, two. Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. Aiden, what? <laughs> Wow, so there was, a, there was a lot of story packed into that. So are people who haven't played Dying Light 1 gonna understand what's going on in Dying Light 2? Of course, action in the city takes place more than 20 years after the original game. Uh, it's a completely new hero, completely new city, uh, so we made sure about that so people that haven't played the original game will still enjoy this one. Okay, good. Mm, all right, well, back to the gameplay. Right. We saw loads of really cool parkour and combat moves there. Mm. Pretty sure at one point we saw Aiden vaulting over his enemies. Yeah, and I saw uh, monkey bars, and at some point he was swinging on a rope? There are many, many more. Uh, twice as many as in Dying Light 1, to be specific. And did you notice some of the new combat moves? Oh, yeah. So we tackled an enemy, make them fall, there were ground pounds, perfect dodges, perfect tackles, and those are only examples mm -hmm. of what you are able to do in the game. Not to mention the grappling hook or yeah. other tools that has its own special place inside the combat loop. Right, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be excited about. You've got the paraglider, which yeah. looks incredible, and then like the city alignment system. Yeah, and weapon mods, and I, I don't know if it was just me, but I'm pretty sure Aiden was stronger and faster and yes, more agile. Yes, he did. As I said before, uh, this quest takes place further in the story, so okay. we've already acquired the paraglider. Right. Mm -hmm. We also develop our character enough to unlock new abilities on both skill trees dedicated to parkour and the combat. Uh, and it's up to you how you're going to spend those skill points. Is it going to be stronger Aiden or more agile Aiden right, right. in the end? Huh. Right, of course, because I mean, we have skill trees in Dying Light 1, but I'm interested to see how those evolve and change in Dying Light 2. Mm. Your game offers new possibilities for us. Uh, so we added plenty of new stuff to the game, but of course we had a very strong base to begin with. Yeah. Uh, we built on top of that added even um, better parkour, better mm. combat, complex story, and we mixed that with the unique setting of modern Dark Ages. Right. Mm. Wow, thank you so much, Cornell, for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, and if you want to see more about the items and things we've just mentioned here, then why not pre-order and play the game for yourself when it comes out on the 4th of February, 2022. The old man got hit by a rock tied to a rope. It hit his head, causing him to fall to the ground. There was blood everywhere. Though in the dim light of the almost burnt out fire, all there was was darkness. He grabbed his head, one eye bloody. Troy was hit with yet another arrow, this time in the abdomen. Still he stood, though with every second weaker and weaker. They were helpless. And Alyssa knew it was her time to stand up for them. Wait, what happens next? I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. That was an excerpt from a submission to our UGC contest. You guys are so talented. Please keep sending in your art, your cosplay, and your stories. And you might win some rewards. And for you cosplayers out there, we posted guidelines so that you can cosplay the characters from Dying Light 2 even more accurately. You'll find more at our website, dyinglightgame.com forward slash contest. And if you find any of our official assets, you're welcome to cosplay the characters from those as well. So. Go to the page and let your creativity flow. We're waiting until January 10th, so please make sure you submit. Remember our Techland GG program? It's getting better and better. We've added something that will help you prepare for Dying Light 2 Stay Human now. In-game actions. There are special achievements you activate on the website and complete in-game to get experience points and earn levels in the program. And new Techland GG levels mean rewards to claim in Dying Light and soon weapons in Dying Light 2 Stay Human meaning you'll have a head start on exploring the city on release. And because we made leveling and claiming goodies simpler and clearer for all of you, Techland GG is better than ever. Well, thank you for today, and we'll see you next time. I'm just going to go back to my game now. That's all right. Goodbye! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I thought you were going to tell me why you were playing some sort of Wild West shooter. What was some it? Some sort of Wild West shooter. <gasps> that was Call of Juarez, partner. And it's Techland's famous Western franchise. And it's a great moment to remind people about it, as well as other Techland games, since...
Tech Land is celebrating the 30th anniversary. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday, Tech Land. Hey. So many titles, I don't know where to start. I mean, we've already mentioned Call of Juarez, so, um, I mean, I must say, traveling through the wild west deserts and towns, shooting your way through inbound in blood, and hunting down legendary outlaws in Gunslinger. Really, you're something. Oh, and remember Crime Cities? It's one of the first ones. Hard to believe it's already been 21 years since the release. I mean, how can you forget? It's a classic. Yeah, flying that car across that sci-fi city, that was so much fun. I mean, and of course, we have to mention Dying Light. Mm. It's been almost seven years since we first visited Haran, and there's still so much new stuff happening there. All the new updates, DLCs, events, and not to mention the Nintendo Switch port that got right. launched a few weeks ago. We're happy you can still enjoy everything to do with Dying Light 1, and uh, kind of just want to go play it. Myself. We will, we will. We definitely will after the show. But first, isn't there some more surprises you're supposed to reveal? Mm, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, to celebrate the 30th birthday, we partnered with GOG and Steam to let you grab some of our earlier games for free. Head to GOG for your free copy of Crime Cities. And a week later, check Steam for Call of Juarez Gunslinger. And remember to go to Techland GG because Techland's 30th anniversary means we're having even more gifts and offers for you. For the next two weeks, all activities there will give you double experience points. So make sure you don't miss up that chance to level up faster. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching one of the Dying Light 2 Stay Human quests with us. And remember, it's just about eight weeks now until release. So make sure to wishlist the game or go to dl2.dyinglightgame.com and click pre-order to get your copy of Dying Light 2 Stay Human and a set of awesome exclusive skins. I think that's all we've got to say. Remember to stay human and we'll see you soon.